Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty where I'm trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty uh, without knowing anything about it. I'm still trying to figure out how things are going and I'm not even sure if this is a good playthrough or not. I still have no feel whatsoever. The game doesn't really give you a good indication if you if you're on the right track or if you've screwed up. What I can tell you is I have uh, the slight suspicion that um, you need to do a lot of missions just to uh, just to uh, keep yourself busy. It's uh, we're we're kind of opening our third um, team. And for me, it seems like we're continuously doing something, something. Uh, not sure, not sure if this is how the game's supposed to be played, but I can tell you about 20 missions in, some of it becomes repetitive. For instance, scavenging site, great, we had it a few times. Uh, this is now, I think, the fourth of his scavenging uh, mission. I need to do it because I need the resources, but I'm not necessarily super excited of uh, doing it. But that's a separate story. My point is, the mission objectives seem to be a bit repetitive. And maybe it is because I'm just not selecting the right ones. But we had uh, straight up kill everything. We had haven defense. We had smash and grab. We had infestation, uh, clear out an infestation. And then some variation of uh, the types of missions oh yeah the, the one mission that was the exception was steal an airship and maybe i need to raid more often or maybe i need to do like just crazy stuff i don't know my point is it seems as if the missions that we're doing are a bit repetitive in nature and the game is not even trying to conceal them really well just here's your next uh, um, grab and scratch mission. There you go. And then the reward is sometimes unclear. Like, why would I go all the way here if I can just grab three of the crates and call it a day? Four when going in there. So I'm not complaining, but it's just, un maybe I'm missing the point. You guys can let me know in the comments down below what your thought process is. But it seems awkwardly scripted, for the lack of a better word. I'll be right there. Get in. Okay, so we have a few of these ginormous plants. I'm here. Let's make this happen. Natalia is better off in the center of the map. Got to keep going. One, two. Here we go. Yes. Time to enter the vehicle and <laughs> Okay, well that actually hurt quite a bit. Sucker. Okay, I think I need to just kill those guys first. I'm 
ready. Heels up. Moving. And moves into cover. Receiving. Uh, we got a mine sucker. I almost forgot about that. Can't I see? That little mind sucker. Okay. Apparently Zooming that's in. not possible. Target missed. Not a great position. Let's jump up here. I'll be right We've there. gathered a little bit more resources from up here. sure that that yeah. mine sucker is dead <laughs> lots and lots of overwatch Of course, we are missing six shots against that thing, just to have it in our face. Enemy overwatches us from all angles. My turn. Problem solved. Now. That was satisfying. Good. The arm is gone. Which means a large part of uh, the threat level is gone. guy is dead. He's going to bleed to death. Lining up a shot. Perfect shot. Already there. Okay, so... Continuing in the spirit of Rolling. just killing stuff. That Triton is down. This one we could kill. 
How high are the chances? I mean, it's moderate, so... I was about to say 50-50. But maybe even less than that. I'll be right there. Okay, we will take some damage, but we're taking less damage than we would have taken elsewise. I can make a difference. Oh, a successful turn. I mean, we killed three, four. It took very little to no damage. Which, of course, changes now, as we're now taking damage. 155. That's quite a bit. Gotta retreat. Oh yeah, we gotta retreat. Stupid poison spit. Good. Birdie. Fully retreats because we don't want to lose Receiving. the car. Reloading. Reloading. Moving out of line of sight. On the move. Moving here. Ha! Armor break. Leads for sixty, has sixty six hit points. And now bleeds for 60 and has 47 hit points. Perfect. That's what you want to see. Now nah, chances are too low. Repositioning. Interestingly enough, the sniper rifle just works equally well in close combat. Pushing on. One. We got to keep going. Two. This should make you feel better. And that solves uh, the poison issue. In the meantime, overwatching here. They're not getting past me. Almost. Take the pistol and overwatch in that direction. End of turn. Very nice hit. A little bit of retaliation fire. 
A little bit more. Yeah. Let's see. Fantastic. Really good. I'm going. Good, so that guy is almost dead. Correction, he is dead. Still haven't collected more resources, which is a bit of a bummer. Ninety-nine damage. He will die from bleeding. The other one, unfortunately, not. Don't have any more mats. So what we're going to do is. I'll keep my eyes open. More Overwatch. And more Overwatch. And I need to get into that second floor. Moving to coordinates. Okay. And I think it's the last bit of shots that we do have left. Let's move. Ten hit points, and it bleeds. Which means I'm not going to bother killing it. I will go and take the loot. We are fully loaded here. I'm ready. Let's see now. Not enough actions. I'll take that next turn. Operative on the move.
reducing its actions. Is there any, are there any more crates? No. Double time. So we can start moving out. More enemies are coming in. Okay. Keep it together. I'm repositioning. up with a buggy yes 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 and that's a sniper that's sniper ammunition for the new Jericho sniper on my way Good. This will soon get us out of here. We'll take a little bit more of this and a bit more of that. Bulldog Magazine, very much welcome. We'll actually take all of it. Then we heal ourselves. And get ready to jump next turn. Identifying target. A bit of damage and overwatch. The green just continues to stay there. I'm here. On overwatch. Okay. 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 I got you. Got to focus. Well, let's move. Enjoy working without an arm, my dude. I can make a difference. for the head yep there we go get in the chopper doing it
All right, one hit. No. Oh wow. He hits very well, even with one arm. Are you guys kidding me? Everyone was well under control before this round, and all, now all of a sudden, things are completely spiraling out of control. Never give up. I can't tell if it's infected. Good. So that was healing for both of us. Identifying target. Ready for action. Attempting to acquire target. Okay, finally. That was quite an adventure. Okay, we need to get out of here. Too many aliens. On the move. Moving over. Inventory. I'm ready. Five by five. All right. Inventory. I need that and that and that. And that and that and that and that thank you all set afterwards we're moving in Our move. Execute. Jumping up here. Uh, yes. Oh, not enough extra points. Okay, cool. Well, we'll get that next turn. Can't jump. 
That's not good. We only got one willpower. Ready to roll. out exits and done good we're fleeing very very soon the enemies does have some sort of a ranged weapon some sort of a sniper weapon okay we'll just take whatever we can get They are inaccurate, so we should be okay. I should have actually moved uh, the sniper into the into the buggy. See you later, guys. Very good. Could have gotten one more crate. But overall, that was okay. I can now see that the enemies are starting to become kind of more oppressive. At the beginning, the aliens were completely neglectable. Now they are shooting back and specifically since they do have ranged capabilities, it starts becoming difficult. Good, let's search the area. Trade here. Five for four is good. Oh, eight for two is also good. Yep. That was a solid trade. And we wanted to go closer to the next mission site. Four for six is good. Nine for two is not okay. Several hours of exploration, nothing useful was found. 
At Aksha, our operatives are received warmly. It would appear that the local Skurophilanx, or keeper of the vessel, is a great admirer of the Phoenix Project. I used to read all of the conspiracy sites when there was an internet, he said. Everyone else thought the Phoenix Project was evil, or just a myth. But I always hoped that it was real, because an intentionally science organization that fights aliens would have been just so... so awesome. I mean, uh, such a thing would be a blessing from the dead gods. Although he's not allowed to show our operatives the hallowed machines themselves, he takes the operatives to share insights of some of the devices that he had built. Tech and research, great. Four for six, we're taking that. Two for nine, we're not taking that. In his essays, my great-grandfather recounts the story of the ill-fated Chinling Bashan expedition of 1915 and the journal of Lei Meng, the leader of the mission, who found evidence of a forgotten proto-civilization deep below the ground. There is also mention of James Dawson, a British photographer who stole most of the precious samples recovered by the team. What became of Dawson has always been a mystery, but now I know the mundane truth. He died here in the mountains, forgotten and alone. This proto-civilization, could it hold the key to defeating the Pandora virus? They say history repeats itself. Has all of this happened before? Oh yeah, investigate. Cave contains a corpse of a Caucasian male. It's hard to identify at first, but the overgrown yellow, hysterically looking leaves sprouting from the shriveled skin. A backpack on the floor contains faded photographs of a broken specimen jars. Simon seems to have taken what he needed, but even what remains is enough to revolutionize our understanding of the planet's biological history. Our analysis of the leaves growing from the body show that the organism contains traces of a Pandora virus, but in a different order strain. The implication of the discovery warrant further studies. Okay, clearly all of the things have been here before. This is a message for the Phoenix Project. I thought you had what it takes. A Phoenix rising from the ashes. The ashes. Ashes to ashes, nothing but a myth. You have struggled with stupidity at every turn, suffered betrayals, betrayals that brought humanity to the brink of extinction. Yet you can't see the obvious. Humanity cannot be saved without total transformation. Without total transformation. Without becoming pure, pure, pure. Who do you think the savior should be? West, the coward West hiding behind his walls? The abominations that spread the disease? Or the idiots who think we should embrace the infected and live with them as pets. No. The cure will cleanse the world and all flesh that opposes us will melt away. The festering pits of rot and decay will be forgotten and a new order forged from blood. Blood! And titanium will rise. If the Phoenix Project thinks it has the strength to stop us, that's your foolish fantasy. You know where we are. Come if you dare. Research complete. Advanced Bionics Technologies. So we can um, do the New Jericho versions. Uh, we do have New Jericho Torso. Bleed Immunity, very, yeah, yeah. Heavy Lifter, double the carry weight. I don't like that as much as the other two. Rocket Leap, that's great. That's actually really good. And Disrupt Ahead. Disrupt target for one turn, causing it to become disoriented, unable to use willpower abilities. I don't know, I still like the immunity to, uh, to mind control the best. We got the Bionic Fortress, which is there. Yeah. Cool story, bro, but we're not going to do that. Project Glory. Yep, I want that to be researched.
and we haven't done a single autopsy yet. Maybe we start with a mind fragger. Manufacturing, all good. I think we got new armor. No. Good, we're continuing to explore, which so far has worked very well. This is getting out of hand, Randolph. I won't stop my proto-civilization research, so tell the committee to back off. You're the director now. Please, help me. I need your support. This is not just some crackpot theory invented by your grandfather. The anomalous artifacts, the extraordinary technology predating Samaria by millennia. If you can't restart my project, I will go to the Vanandium Corporation. There's been another attack, Tobias. The excavation team is scared, and they aren't the only ones. What if the Pandorans know what we're doing and are trying to stop it? They aren't just brainless flesh puppets. I'm heading back to the lab. Be there. We need to discuss this in person. You're making a mistake, Colonel. The last Pandoran attacks were not an accident. They're targeting everyone related to Project Glory. Locking me in an isolation facility won't change a thing. I can't wait. No! Well, it's always the ignorance that comes before the downfall. Research complete. So, saving Helena is... I got so many tasks. Saving Helena is right there. That'll be, I think, the next mission for the Tiamat team. The Tiamat team needs a break, so we need to visit home for a second. And there is an attack up here. Four for six, easy peasy, we'll do that. And then we will move there. Nothing useful was found. I think it's a good time now to shortly move back to base. Manufacturing wise, we're getting a couple more items in. And technology wise, do I want to invest more into my soldiers? Could theoretically get a third one of them cyber augmented. Dranks and Grell look absolutely fantastic. So one option would be to do that. Another option would be to build up another base. Open that. And start on the other side here. I think that's what we're going to do. This is... My space here is... born in the USA. Um... Starting to repair the easy parts, satellite, storage. I think we could use some living quarters because we want people to work here. A medical bay. 
would be helpful. And that already takes all of our resources. I will build up another team here. I'm not sure if we're building up too many teams. Not really not sure. Sanders needs more ammunition. You can give him the ghost rifle for now. More willpower, good. Little green, can't upgrade. Tyler waits for a new class. And we don't have the points for Hexer. Okay. Well, so far so good. The problem with too many teams is it also drains resources. The advantage of many teams is you can do many, many missions at the same time. And there is a cum uh, cum accumulative effect snowball effect that would uh, work in our favor and i think three squads are not completely out of uh, out of question having one essentially covering for every area effectively we're now ending up with four squads but you see the point what i haven't nailed down so far is how much i really need like that's the main facility here Still leaving this one open. This here is clearly the research facility, so I would potentially build another research lab. Currently, we're really on a roll with the research, that's great. And I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Not yet. Having one of uh, the standard aircrafts seems to make sense and having kind of a, a six uh, people squad uh, so far always seem to be adequate. The main squad is where I would want to invest uh, the upgrades in. One thing that I've already seen is you can just have such a massive amount of resources that you can sink into individual soldiers and there is still not anywhere close to be done. Uh, we need more missions with our main team. I mean, here the experience. Still want to level them up. Yeah, 200 more experience to level 7. And then we need to get SP. And I, I, I would need to find another way of getting SP. Clearly, in the missions they get them. So, I don't know. It's just currently we're not leveling fast enough. Uh, the last train of thought is we might want to get a larger team, kind of exp uh, almost switch the tier mat for the Mant uh, Manticore and add two more people to that prime team. But I would want, definitely would want uh, an engineer, a technician, and then another. Um, cast uh, one of those priests that looks like a really good team eight people the problem is uh, this uh, this plane is ultra slow and that's already annoying so yeah maybe we're switching someone out from the prime team we have a lot of assaults here and it really feels like you might want to get another class anyone anyway, anyways um, Research complete. Okay, so 
Mindfraggers. Funny how that crude name our soldiers came up with stuck. Appropriate, I suppose. Grenade launcher technology. Well, now we're talking. Good. We're going to do that uh, in the next episode, guys. If you, were, if you are a fan of uh, Haven Defense, then now press uh, the like button to uh, motivate uh, all of the inhabitants to fight against uh, the uh, the uh, Panorians with 9 to 5. I'm not even sure if that's going to be a hard mission, but we're going to see that the next time. All right. Take care, guys. See you in two days. Bye-bye.